Hey there. So last night I flew into the United States from Panama. It's the first time in a few months I've been back in the U.S. That's kind of cold here. I don't think Midwest in December was the smartest choice for my time to come back to the U.S. But I flew in from Panama. My flight left around 6.30 Panama time. I got into Chicago about 11.30. By the time we got to the gate a little later, and I was pretty pretty tired. Um, I was not looking forward to going through customs. But some time ago, and I might have already talked about this on the channel, but some time ago I signed up for uh, Global Entry. And it, it, it was came in really handy last night, so I thought I would talk about it today. So last night I landed, and there's a little app for your phone that you can get for Global Entry. Basically, you need to go through a kiosk at a Global Entry spot or now an app for your phone. Get your picture taken, let them know you're here. Then you go through the uh, lines. And like last night, I came, there's basically three lines to go through customs. There was non-U.S. citizen line, U.S. citizen line, and then there was global entry and crew. They got to go through the same line. Um, there's actually a little split off after after that for the global entry crowd for global entry with remote with the mobile app, which is even better. Now, there wasn't a ton of people in, in line, and I've seen this in the past where um, global entry, non-global entry doesn't save you that much time. But if there's any sort of line, um, it can. And certainly, I didn't even stop walking last night. I just walked all the way through, said hi to a couple of customs officers who were half asleep and didn't want to even say hi. They just get out of here. I guess middle-aged old guys like me were just boring for them. So they're not, we're not worth uh, bothering with. Being boring is probably good when it comes to this sort of stuff. So basically, what is global entry? Uh, there's a series of what's called known traveler programs put on by the U.S. Customs and Border Administration. And one of them is TSA PreCheck, which I know a lot of people use, and that's awesome too. And another one is global entry. There's a couple others, like especially if you're just going to Canada, things like that. But uh, the two big ones for, for air travel are uh, TSA and global entry. And global entry, you also get the um, TSA PreCheck automatically. So global entry is a little bit stricter program than TSA. You have to apply for it. You have to um, do an in-person interview and get approved. And basically, if you are a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident from one of several countries, and I'll, which I'll include in the des uh, description link, but I'll rattle them off here real fast. If you're from Argentina, Brazil, Bahrain, India, Colombia, United Kingdom, Germany, the Netherlands, Panama, Singapore, South Korea, Switzerland, Taiwan, or Mexico, you can apply for global entry if you're a permanent resident in the U.S. The, uh, I'll go through the steps for, for applying in a minute, but you get it unless they find something in your past that they don't like. Uh, criminal convictions, that's a problem. Uh, even in, let's see, I'm actually looking at the t uh, website right now. So um, pending criminal charges or outstanding warrants is a problem. Uh, and, anything, and this includes uh, driving under the influence. Uh, so you want to keep your slate clean that makes your life a little easier. After school special lesson there for you. Uh, any ongoing investigations, any uh, problems purchasing firearms, et cetera. And there's a list you can go look at them. I won't bore you with them. Uh, basically, if you want to get it and you apply. So how do you apply? You go and to the Customs and Border uh, website, which I'll include a link. Set up a known traveler program or a trusted traveler program. Sorry, let's get the name right for you. Log in the account, fill out the application, schedule an interview, which we'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. And of course, least we forget, pay the fee. It's a hundred dollar non refundable application fee. Uh, now you normally don't have to pay this. Uh, if you're watching this channel, then you're probably an avid traveler already, and you have something like the American Express Platinum card the Delta Reserve card, uh, I think almost every airline card that you have to pay a fee for that I know of, like anything above $500, like the American card uh, through City or the United card through Chase, all of these have, as their perks, they'll cover global entry uh, once every you know four years, which is how often you have to renew. So you don't really have to pay for it. It's a perk on your card. So you apply and you wait to get an appointment. Uh, 
the appointments last time I looked, which was actually uh, for my wife, we're looking at like six or eight months to get to an appointment. Well, um, I had a similar problem where my appointments were several months out. Basically, the way you do this, I wish I had better advice for you on this. You take the best appointment you can find and you keep checking back because people cancel their appointments. So if there's a cancel or a hole, causes a hole in the schedule, then you can get in. I scheduled an appointment that was like months out. I kept checking back and I got an appointment, uh, I think two weeks later, a better appointment within, I don't know, two to four weeks out from that point at my local home airport. And that was awesome. Most of these appointments are at an airport, which is nice because you can fly into them. Uh, same thing when we did my wife, her, her appointments were like nine months out. We were actually going to be gone, you know, <laughs> overseas by the time the, um, her appointment would have uh, occurred, but I kept checking back and I found one at an airport, not too far away with a reasonable cost. So we just, um, uh, booked a flight, went to that airport. I, um, got drunk on free booze and lounges while she went to her appointment, flew back home, Ubered Uber back to the house. So, uh, it's not hard to do. You just have to basically put in the time and checking the website to get the appointment that you want. Do the appointment and wait, of course. Uh, it only took, I think, two or three days in each, my case and my wife's case, to get the approval. Um, and that was it. And you get a card. You don't really need the card, but you do get a card in the mail. I've never once used the card. I keep it in my travel bag. No one's ever asked for it because they already know who you are. It's tied to your passport. They know everything about you already. So it's relatively easy to do, uh, just money and time. Isn't that always the case for things? Um, and the perk is speed. You basically get through uh, customs lines faster. Like I said last night, I didn't even stop. Now, there's a little bit of responsibility for this. Uh, you have to, first of all, remember to stop at the kiosk, get your picture taken, or even better, now they have a mo this mobile app. I don't know how long that's been out, but I just found it recently where you can just take your picture um, on your phone, say what port of entry you're at, and then they're watching for you. You come through, oh yeah, you, you know, we know you, you you're a trusted tra traveler, go on through, buddy. I literally just said hi to a couple people. I don't ever remember being stopped a question on global entry I, I will next time for sure now that i've said that but um it, it's it's been a real time saver and very convenient now i almost always travel with uh, only a single bag when i'm coming back in the u.s i don't have to get luggage and there's so that makes it easier i suspect the the app is great one thing about the app is when i first landed in chicago you know how phones take a little bit of time to realize where you are they got to get that uh, location lock on you when it first landed, I did the uh, app, and it checks to wh where you are. If you're anywhere near where you say you are, it said, "Hey, you're 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 not in Chicago. You can't use this app. Um, no problem." I went refresh my location by going into Google Maps, make sure it knows where I am. Went back to the app, no problem. And then breezed through customs, got to my hotel room, and crashed. So this is a, a it's a pretty nice little perk. Hundred bucks reimbursed the car your credit cards aren't too bad since you already paid all that money for them in the first place and it saved you a bunch of time so i wholeheartedly recommend checking it out um there is that whole thing that yes you're giving up a certain amount of privacy where you're um you know letting the the government background check you i think that's a minor point because if you're a u.s citizen and you travel a lot they already know you uh you're not really giving up any privacy you've already sacrificed it all. So I won't go political on that. Um, that's it. I just wanted to give you some quick background on that. Um, go check it out. I'll put links in the description so you can go view it if you don't already have it. And like I said, it's a pretty nice little program to get yourself through customs a little faster. Take care. Safe travels. Oh, and if you think about it, hit the like button. Bye.